Hi guys, this is Jay Kaushal Rada, Boy Versus Speaker here on Life Coach and uh, this is the Nakshatra series that we're doing on this channel. This channel where we talk about everything that can help us understand more about ourselves, uh, gain better self-knowledge, better self-awareness, help raise our vibration spiritually, mentally, emotionally and uh, even physically, financially. So uh, the nakshatra that we're talking about today is the nakshatra of Maha. Actually, it's still in effect. It's going to be for another couple of hours or more. And Maha is the nakshatra which is controlled by the south node of the moon, Ketu. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> in case you don't know what a nakshatra is, well, nakshatras are the 27 stars in the sky that are working behind the scenes of the constellations. Every nakshatra can tell us a lot about a person, a person's personality, the, how are they going to channel that particular energy represented by that planet placed in that nakshatra in their birth chart and in fact even when transits are taking place, what kind of energies are there in the collective? And nakshatras are an intrinsic part of Vedic philosophy, not just Vedic astrology, Vedic philosophy because uh, that is how we used to uh, keep time. That is how we used to decide the important events long ago. Every nakshatra has a deity that is linked to and every deity has uh, a lot of literature about him or her in the Rig Veda and all the other Vedas and the mention across the Puranas as well. Okay. So therefore, uh, the nakshatras can help you understand a lot. Okay, now coming back, the nakshatra of Magha corresponds to the planet Ketu, the south node of the moon Ketu, Ketu, the headless planet, the planet of our past life karma. Magha deals with having a past life uh, purpose that you're here to accomplish in this lifetime. The deity associated with this nakshatra are the Pitris. Pitris means our forefathers, you know forefathers who passed on before us, okay? Not the ones that are alive, the ones that have ascended. And so there is a lot of connection of this nakshatra with an independent streak. These people quite often when they have a prominent maha in their chart, their lives can be heavily karmic. And uh, they only want to do things their way. They only want to do things according to a plan, according to a, <laughs> a mindset that they have in their mind, you know, something, something's a vision that they have. And they can be very, um, um, they can be very stringent and strict and inflexible regarding the materialization of that vision. Okay. Quite often you will see that these people can appear to be beating, you know, uh, like uh, dancing to the beat of their own drum. They're, they're doing their own thing in their own way, in their own world, which is something which is very characteristic of the planet K2. So, you know, whenever you have a prominent south node in your chart, people probably don't care what you're trying to do. And actually within that is a, a, a great uh, opportunity because, you know, that's what you say. An expert hits a target that everybody can see and an expert hits that target perfectly. But genius hits a target that nobody else can see. So that is kind of the energy of the nakshatra of Maga. These people can be very innovative. You'll find them often in business great performers, great entrepreneurs, they will have great ideas on how to do things and manifest things. Obviously, you have to look at, uh, you know, the, the placements that support that as well. You know, if as a whole, their chart does not have a strong moon or does not have a strong, uh, you know, planets that can help them materialize things, this is going to be a bit of a problem for them. Ultimately, at least around about the you know around about the age of 48 when k2 matures these people will see a new surge of energy in their life so these people go on achieving a lot of things that they have to achieve in life uh, you know pretty late the 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 growth never stops for these people in fact the more they mature the better their thinking becomes the the more they're able to refine that vision of theirs the more able to 
change and kind of you know put everything uh, in in the right order in the right uh, pieces okay now how do you look at this uh, nakshatra apart from all of this well this nakshatra has a lot of uh, connection with the banyan tree and it also is represented by a mouse sitting on the throne these two things are very important they're, they're quite related why because when you look at the banyan tree what do you learn from the banyan tree that you grow and from your branches come your roots continuous growth so somewhere along the line you need to understand if you have a, this nakshatra in a prominent placement that majority of the work that you started in this lifetime is not going to be uh, finished within this lifetime so you need to understand where other people are going to have to carry the work that you have initiated okay so this is, this is something that you need to understand this is, this is a lesson and you also need to understand in your case maybe you've not had a very easy life maybe you've had a very karmic life so uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, you have been given a very karmic life because it is up to you to heal your family lineage maybe you were assigned the mountain so you could show the world that it can be moved and so the mouse sitting on the throne also has a lot of significance so the mouse sitting on the throne is actually representative of the uh, fact that if you work hard if you work tirelessly you will be able to achieve the regality you will be able to achieve uh, you know the power that you desire in life and so you know in terms of the favorable activities to do uh, whenever this nakshatra is in effect is all sorts of activities that have to do with uh, ceremonies you know uh, coronations everything that is royal in nature any you know marriage etc all of those things everything where you have to throw a big party and enjoy maga is great for that it's not great however uh, for future planning why because of the energy of the south node because the, because of the energy of the pitris so pitris are honored how are pitris honored everybody has some debt that they have towards their pitris that debt that you owe to them for raising you taking care of you and how do you repay that debt you don't repay that debt by going back and you know thanking them or giving them money no you have to repay that debt by doing the same thing for the future generations by being a good parent to future generations by caring for future generations by helping them on their journey so you quite often see that people who have a uh, you know prominent mark up placement in their birth chart they will uh, encounter a lot of these uh, you know influences in their life where they will be called upon or they will face struggle in being able to uh, adequately fulfill their karmic uh, you know burdens towards their pitris and they will have to step up to the plate in order to be able to do that meditation is i think great uh, for you to placate any planet that is placed in this nakshatra if you want the most you know uh, effect of this nakshatra if you want to work best for you then meditation works best and also praying to ganpati that also works best more or less the energy of this nakshatra this particular nakshatra Uh, it will peak around the uh, new moon so you will see if you have prominent planets in this uh, nakshatra around the new moon some major events will take place in your life always okay or at least with respect to you know that particular planet or that particular house okay so thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel so that you can stay abreast of all the wonderful content that i post here and push the bell icon so that you can be notified every single time i post thank you so much take care thank you